Hi, it's me, Kylie. Welcome to the studio. I thought today you and I could practice drawing together. There are so many ways to draw everything. Not one right way to do anything, but here's one way we can try. Today, I thought we would draw a butterfly. Here we go. Let's start at the very beginning. Do you know that butterflies actually start out as caterpillars? Let's draw a caterpillar together. First, we're gonna draw a circle. This will be the head of our caterpillar. Now we're gonna draw some antennas on our caterpillar. So I'm gonna draw two lines that are a little curved and then put two circles at the very top. Now I'm gonna make a happy face on my caterpillar. You make your face however you want. Smiles. If the head is at the very front of our caterpillar, it's going to overlap the next circle of its body. So I'm gonna start here and draw most of a circle. But when I get to the head, I'm gonna stop that line. Now it looks like the head is overlapping or in front of this circle. Sweet. Do that for the rest of your caterpillar's body, however long you wanna make yours. I think four circles works well for me. Now I'm gonna draw two feet onto each circle, except the last one. Awesome, there's drawing number one, our caterpillar. Next, the caterpillar makes a cocoon around itself. Let's draw a cocoon. I'm gonna start by drawing a branch and some leaves, a vertical line and a horizontal line. I'm gonna add just a little stem. This is where a cocoon is gonna come from. And before I draw that, I'm gonna add some leaves. When you have as many leaves as you want, it's time for the cocoon. I'm gonna draw a big oval that gets more narrow at the bottom. And I'll just add some stripes for a little pizzazz. Step number two for a butterfly, a cocoon. Time for our butterfly. The most important thing to know when you're making a butterfly drawing is that both sides of a butterfly are pretty much symmetrical. That means the same on both sides. So let's start with the middle. We'll do a circle and we'll do the same kind of face that we made for our caterpillar. They are the same creature after all. Then I'm going to draw overlapping circles for the middle of my butterfly as well, just like we did for the caterpillar. I made mine get a little bit smaller as I went down, but you get to do whatever you want if you're trying. Now I'm going to draw my wings. The top wings on my butterfly are going to be a little bit bigger than the bottom set. I'm gonna draw a line diagonally and up, and then bring it down, kind of like a triangle. And you can make some fancy swiggles here if you want. Now, since it's symmetrical, do the same thing on the other side. Great. Now just for a lower set of wings. Cool. Now you can add some designs inside the wings of your butterfly. love these drawings that we made together. We made a caterpillar, its cocoon, and then its final form as a beautiful butterfly. If you want to make more drawings or more things with me, this is Kylie Makes It. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, check out all the things we make in our studio together. A lot more than just drawings. Whenever we hang out next and whatever we make together, I am stoked. See you next time.